Hello guys, it's been a while. Um, new note I just finished on the hardware side is the fake tech pager. It's pretty much done. The only thing missing now is compatibility with the used display. This is a new type of display. There's already like displays with a resolution of 128 times 64, but this one is flipped and that's not yet supported. So everything right now looks pretty much scrambled. Oh, sorry, I'm still in the uh, messages. So as you can see, it is scrambled with, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So this hopefully soon will be fixed. Um, the fake tech pager, what do we have on here? Um, let's start right away with GPS. We have GPS, let me just turn it on. works perfectly fine and then we have also um, environmental sensor in here here's the punch out it measures humidity air pressure and temperature then we have the biggest feature here is the rotary encoder for canned messages you can select the message and then press it and you send it which is pretty cool I think um, what else do we have? Yeah, we have a reset button that it's hiding behind this punch out for updating firmware or resetting your device. Then we have the USB-C connector and in here is the battery. And the battery it uses is one of those 18350 batteries. You can try simply unscrew those two screws, take the back cap off, slide it in, close it up and it's ready to go no soldiering required which is pretty cool most people will just leave it in but those who want to change it you can change it what else do we have oh yeah we have buzzer you already heard that we have vibr mode in here for vibration when you receive a message and what else do we have did i forget something oh yeah very special feature as you can see the antenna right here is exposed that's because you can flip it up Put it on a table and i guess you have now superior reception and transmission capabilities yeah whatever i thought it's a it's a fun feature to add because why not well i guess that's pretty much it we have the environmental sensor gps blah, 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 blah. yeah oh yeah a little lanyard mounting point so you can put it on a lanyard or whatever you're planning to do with it and that's it, USB-C connector on the bottom. Uh, that's a little TPU brake pad because when you put it in your pocket, there's a little friction to the button above so it doesn't turn too easy and not accidentally like sending messages or selecting stuff. So yeah, let's hope the display will be soon be added and that's it pretty much. You can follow the link below, it is linked. You can build it, but then I, I say it up front Worst case scenario, and I don't think it's going to happen, just saying maybe this display will be never made compatible with this unit and it will be displayed all wrong. So if you already want to build it, build it on your own risk or wait till I update the listing saying, yeah, guys, it is done. It is now compatible because this display is amazing and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people and DIY um, guys would prefer because the the footprint of this display is like super super slim it uh, not like the other displays with the big pcb all around this is perfect perfect for notes and the resolution is also king compared to one of the small one 0 0.98 or 89 displays so yeah that's it that's the FigTech pager a nice vintage design the copper colored design elements, the frame, the rotary encoder wheel, knurled, and the bottom cap is silk copper, and the case is printed in carbon fiber PLA. So that's it, the fake pager. Thanks for watching. If you like it, have a look at my print labels page. See you, bye bye.